Hey guys, Starly Rose here. Welcome back to my channel. So as of today, you guys, I am officially sleeved. I got my VSG procedure, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, March 6th. So today, I am celebrating one week, my one week post-op. How am I feeling? Today, I felt great. But I'm going to follow up with happened on things that I felt after I returned home from the hospital. I was in the hospital for I'm sleeping you guys and I'm up making this video because I have to because you guys are waiting for me and I'm here. I'm on time. It's 12 o'clock in the morning but I'm here girls. So I only spent like one night in the hospital, thank God, because the first night, I was ready to come home. It is nothing like your bed and your home to me. So, I returned home. The pain that I was feeling was basically the gas. The gas inside of my body because they pump gas inside of your stomach to perform the surgery. So... The first stage of gas was the gas, not in my intestines, but the gas in my body cavities. So the gas in your body cavities can flow in any part of your upper body. Like in a hospital, the gas traveled all the way into like my shoulder joint. My dramatic self thought I was having a heart attack or something because I'm like, whoa, what is this? I never, <laughs> there is no gas like that gas. So I say after I came home, I took my gas X. Gas X is life. <laughs> if you are preparing for this surgery, make sure you purchase your gas X. It is a life saver. But the con about it in a hospital you are not allowed to use any gas medicine they only pump nausea medicine into you and pain relief medicine so you have to walk soon as you wake up from your surgery and not soon as, as you wake up like give your body an hour or whatever to get it together you know walk around the hospital because walking and burping was my best friend it's like the more I walk the more the I release the gas by burping so make sure you walk so when I came home the like the cavity gas lasted for like about two days then it finally traveled down the other route and your girl was popping. Like, <laughs> I was like, yes, finally, 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 finally. Gas X, get the gas X was working. It worked. And I was just like, yes. The next con about it, about your post op, one week post op, is some of you guys may experience nausea. Nausea. I didn't, I didn't get nausea as of yet. I don't want to talk too fast because I'm only one week post-op. Nausea and constipation. I'm mad I got to talk about constipation on camera, but I have to keep it real with y'all and let y'all know what I went through after my surgery. That constipation was like, no constipation that I have ever experienced my 25 years here on earth. That constipation is something truly different. Your girl thought she was going to die. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, it was crazy. Like, I'm calling my mother like a Duke call. Like, oh, my. So, as you're preparing for your hospital visit, your hospital stay for your operation. Make sure that you throw the laxative in the bag. 
everybody body is different. Like I didn't experience, like I said, I didn't experience nausea at all. But when you get home and those medicines wear off from the hospital, you're going to feel your incisions. You're going to wake up every morning sore. Normal, that's typical. But after a few days, um, the first week, the first seven days, I was using the pain medic- medicine that my surgeon prescribed for me. And I was taking it every day for seven days. The next week I woke up, I was fine. The pain, it was pain, but it was dull. But I honestly wanted to, like, get myself off of the painkillers. So I'm completely off as of today. I have taken no painkillers today. I'm full of energy. I feel great. The first week, you don't feel hungry. But the first day of the next week your stomach you start to feel it there again you start to feel your little hunger you know so I'm on chicken broth um what else liquids clear liquids pudding my fave is the chocolate pudding um I'm doing the crystal lights next week is my stage Three, I get to puree my fish and get back to my vegetarian life. Thank God I miss my fish, asparagus with some homemade baked potato. Oh my God, I cannot wait. So I'm excited. Like, even though I'm going to have to blend my food, I'm definitely excited about like having food and not having liquid. So guys, this is everything that you may or may not experience because everybody's body is different. But I just wanted to let you inform you about certain things, you know, because I know it's a lot of people preparing themselves for the surgery. So I'm informing you guys and thanks for watching. And I love you guys. If you are new to my channel, hit like. Um, you can write any questions that you need to ask me. And below in the, in the comments. And subscribe to my channel if, yo, I'm really tired, y'all. No, for real, I'm really tired. I probably said something from before and saying it again. What time is it? Where's my phone? It is like, yeah, 12.32 in the morning. This is the first time I've filmed this late and I'm just like, oh my God. Okay, but. Let's wrap this up. I'm so glad I got this video done because the next couple of days I'm going to be catching up on my schoolwork and trying to just end this semester with success so we can get back to this music. If you don't know about me, I'm a full-time student in nursing. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. If you guys are returning, thank you for sticking with Scarlet Lee Rose. Shout out to my roses. Make sure you guys follow me on my IG, Scarlet Rose. I am Scarlet Rose underscore. And make sure you guys go on my channel and listen to my three singles that's up there. And, you know, be a part of Rose Gang. Let's go. Good night, guys.